Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of how to make your own discord bot in python so let's get started so guys in today's video we're gonna make a global leaderboard and local leaderboard in discord.py using pillow module so let's right get into it So guys in the previous video we made slots and gamble commands and in today's video we're gonna continue with the economy bot for that i've provided a link in the description which is for the assets of local and global leaderboard and i've just made this repo a minute back and if you see there is a, this assets folder and if you open it we have just three files which is one is global leaderboard second is server leaderboard and one is one ttf dot ttf file which is just the font file so what you need to do is you just need to download this folder and move into your bot directory once you do that you'll get these files in your bot repo and if you open one of them as you can see this is just a template and we're gonna loop through each of the column and just place the name and the money accordingly and just fyi if this is your first video we are using PostgreSQL and you might want to look into the previous videos if you don't know how we are, how we are coping up with this. So like always we have a few imports. So we are obviously going to use pillow, we are going to use bytes.io to send the image and we are going to use date time. You just need to pip install pillow which is pretty straightforward. Now next thing which we are going to do is we are going to just start with a command and we are going to say commands.command. We are going to firstly make the global leaderboard and probably both of the global and local leaderboards are quite similar so, so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna show you how to make global leaderboard and the server leaderboard is pretty much similar so i'm not gonna show it how to make that i'm just gonna provide the code in the very repository which i just showed and i'm just gonna add the file here you can take reference from it but what i would suggest is code yourself because it is pretty straightforward so now i'm just gonna define an aliases and the main command name is gonna be pretty short like glb which is global leaderboard it'll have cell cdx nothing else and it will have obviously a description which is have a look at the global charts of the economy now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create one async function which will be like this top charts will return as a dictionary of the top users with their user id and their money so i'm just gonna say async def um charts probably you can just name it anything doesn't really matter and after that we're gonna just say tops and it will be await cell dot bot okay cell dot bot dot db dot fetch i'm gonna say select everything from my users order by money i'm just gonna order the list by money and i'm just gonna say desk nulls last which means the null object will be placed at last so that we don't have to handle them now I'm going to create one dictionary through which we'll loop through the top list and then we'll just add the key value pairs in this top dictionary. So I'm just going to say for i in my tops, this tops will have like a list which will have certain dictionaries. So I'm just going to say my tops, like my top, and then I'm just going to say i first index, sorry, first index is going to be zero, is going to be the value of i second index, which is going to be the first now what this means is that i'm just looping through each item of the stops and in each item i'm just setting the value of each item to the to the specific top key value pair so this pretty much makes sense and i'm just simply gonna return this top dictionary now i'm gonna fetch my top tops is equal to await self dot charts all right i have the tops now I'm gonna get the image so bg will be my image which I just imported like image.open I'm just gonna provide the path I'm just gonna jump to the parent directory then I'm gonna say assets since the folder name is assets and then I'm just gonna type global lb yeah so we have the image now we're gonna get the font so the font will be of two types one will be a small font other will be a bigger font so the small font will be my image font dot true type says so this is a true type one and i'm just gonna yeah you know this is the name of the font which is um which i have used for making these server leaderboards and lo uh, global leaderboards so i guess we're gonna do the same and i'm just gonna do the same for this going to the assets and then the font name i don't even know how to pronounce it but yeah and i'm gonna say size size will be a different parameter and it will be i guess 13 for one and there will be one more font whose size will be i guess 25 and we'll name it big 
now we'll have a few variables which will be x x1 y and y underscore so what is the significance of these my x will be a common x coordinate if you see here then all of the entries like let's say there are 10 users then all of them will have a common x index the distance from y axis is my x index so the distance will be common right so we have a common x then we have one x1 and what is this x1 for this x1 is for the money here so it will have a different x index similarly we have a y and this y is basically gonna be something which is gonna stay constant but we're gonna add something to this constant y so let's say in the first loop as i mentioned in the starting we're gonna loop through each of the columns so we go from first loop to the second loop you're gonna add a specific number to the y index and that specific number is gonna be this y underscore the default value of y will be 90 and after that we're gonna add 66 to it in each loop i've tried and tested it that's why i'm telling next we are gonna create one draw object which will be image dot draw image draw dot draw and i'm just gonna pass my bg and after that i'm just gonna say draw text and i'm i've just provided two indexes this is just the coordinates of the lowermost corner if you see i'm just providing the string of date time dot date time dot now strf time and this is d which is just gonna stand for month day and then year and we have just provided the color fill which is white and we have the font font will be the smaller one which has the size of 13 so this is gonna come in the lowermost corner now i'm gonna do a counter so this counter will be 10 and I'm gonna loop through my items of this top. So I'm gonna just say for ID money in my tops dot items. I'm just gonna get the user. I'm just gonna say um, self dot bot dot get user. And I'm just gonna provide the ID. And I'm gonna say if not user. I'm just gonna continue through the loop. Means if the user is an untype object, let's say the user doesn't exist, then we're just gonna continue, right? And now we're gonna get the name. So name will be user.name.title and this is just a function to titleize a string and we're gonna just titleize the string and we're gonna get up until 20th index if the length of the string is more than 20 and if not then we're just gonna say um you know user.name.title and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just simply say we're gonna make it f string and after that i'm just gonna put two dots here to signify that there are more digits just we don't have enough space or we don't want to spam you know so this is going to be pretty much it we have the name now i'm going to draw the text so i'm going to say draw the text i'm going to provide a y and x coordinate and my y will be my x will be x y will be y then will be my name then will be my fill which will be 255 255 and then will be my font which will be my big font yeah similarly i'm gonna put money so i'm just gonna make it my string money and for this one the x will be x1 and not x and rest everything is gonna be the same and what i'm gonna say is i'm gonna say y plus equal to y underscore so this is just the digit we're gonna add after each loop and from the counter as well i'm just gonna uh, deduct one now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check if my counter is zero so I'm going to say if my counter is equal to zero, meaning all of the loops are done, I'm just going to say break. I'm just going to break the loop. Now guys, there's a probability that let's say in your tops.items, let's say there are only three entries or let's say four entries. Let's say your server is too small that there are not many people who are participating in the bot. So what ha exactly will happen is it will just show like it will just fill two three columns and after that it will just leave the blank and it looks kind of you know weird what we can exactly do is we can just put a you know hyphen or something or you maybe you can write na just something like we don't have any more entries so for that i'm just gonna say i've just said after my for loop that while my counter is more than one zero like let's say the counter is zero then it is not even gonna go through this while loop it's just gonna end but let's say this loop ended after three or four then this loop will automatically end and after that this while loop will come into practice and we're just gonna draw these text we're just gonna draw this simple hyphen here and we're gonna add y to the y coordinate and we're gonna subtract counter from one so this pretty much makes sense you can replace it with anything just to spell, fill the space and once that is done, we're gonna say with bytes IO as A, we're gonna say bg.save apng a.seek and we're gonna just send the file in the CTX in the context. And if you see I imported 
bytes.io from io pretty much straightforward and i've explained this function in great details in my previous videos you can check them out if you want to now let's try running it hoping for no errors all right so i made a typo here i just didn't notice it was to be self most of you must have noticed it but i just just made a mess let's try running it again I probably made some mess. It should be datetime.datetime.now.strf time, date, month, and year. Sorry for this. I don't know what is happening to me today. And also, after that, make sure to put an extra 255. I just forgot that because we have three ink fill tanks. So make sure to have 255, 255, 255. And I guess rest all seems fine. And as you can see, the leaderboard appear and it looks pretty decent i've added some bots because i didn't have many users in my testing servers and you can make this similar command for server leaderboard it's pretty simple you can just check the guild id and everything else is going to be the same like all the dimensions and all and you just have to name the different image which is going to be server leaderboard and global leaderboard is just just it's the difference of color theme and i'm going to provide the code for like for the reference in this very directory so if you want to reference for server leaderboard check this out it's given in the description i'm just going to provide the code right here so i guess that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next one